It's like 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. I'm recording this on a Sunday. I actually never record on Sundays. I usually just save it for like weekdays, like my work days. But we ordered Chipotle for breakfast. We went out last night. We went to dinner last night at a place called Namo here in Dallas. It was so good. It's freezing outside, so we sat at the sushi bar, which I really prefer that experience because they can just like obviously feed you as they go and then we got to watch them make it. The A5 Wagyu nigiri was my favorite, I think. And I also really liked the salmon. The salmon sashimi and the yellowtail sashimi, the hamachi were really, really good. You'll have to get that. Long story short, go there. And then we went to Catbird for like a nightcap and it was happening in there. I'd been there once before, but it was kind of dead. And I love that place so much. I ran into a couple friends last night, which was nice. Mm. I was telling Joe, I have friends who don't like Chipotle, but I will say they eat more on the healthy side, so they get Chipotle more healthy version, which I'd say, I don't, this is not super unhealthy. I usually get chicken, white rice, the tomatillo salsa, pico, and I got um, cheese. And I was thinking today, I feel like the reason people who try to be super healthy at Chipotle don't like it is because they don't get cheese, because one time I didn't get cheese and I truly <laughs> wanted to throw the entire bowl out like onto the street. It was disgusting. You gotta get the cheese. All right, so I wanted to film today because we're gonna go to Fort Worth, which is my hometown. My parents' birthdays are back to back, so my dad's birthday is February 6th and my mom's is February 7th. My sister had the idea to rent out a roller rink here and my mom like grew up in the 80s and she's actually turning 50 tomorrow. Um, so it's a big birthday for her. And in the 80s, she was like the roller rink queen and she always talks about those days. So we rented out a roller rink for her. It just happens to also be <laughs> the roller skating rink that my friends and I in like high school would rent out for birthday parties and stuff and get absolutely obliterated and then skate. There's a lot of memories there. There's a lot of hazy memories there. Don't don't underage drink. Please do not take that as a <laughs> as a promotion of that, but these are just my memories, okay? Um, but we're gonna go there tonight. My grandparents will be there. My aunt and uncle, who Joe has not met yet because of like all the COVID stuff that's happened, we just always like are trying to be more cautious. And we wanted to rent it out because we didn't want like a ton of people in there with my grandparents and all that stuff. So it'll be a fun day. Now I'm editing a TikTok. I've been really doing TikTok lately, like really going hard because I think I found a little niche in the Dallas community. And I think I've been trying, I had a meeting with my manager the other day. Sorry, this is just gonna be like the chattiest time right now. I had a meeting with my manager last week and we talked about like diversifying content and like doing different kinds of content on every platform. And I feel like the Dallas people are underrepresented. In general, Texas is underrepresented, I think, for influencers. Like, every influencer lives in LA or New York. For those of you who are new here, I moved to Dallas in early December, so I've been here for about two months now. And I'm actually from Fort Worth, which is close to Dallas, but, like, if you're from Fort Worth, you kind of, like, are, like, eh about Dallas because Fort Worth is, like, so much cuter. But anyways, <laughs> Dallas people don't hate me for saying that. I've noticed obviously in that move, that I'm actually enjoying Dallas more than I thought that I would. Joe and I are only here for his off season. He plays baseball, so the season is from around like April to October. And during that time, we're gonna be in Washington, D.C., where he's currently playing. He plays for the Washington Nationals, if you're new here. I made my little niche on TikTok with this Dallas content, and I feel like people really like it, and I'm growing more. And so what I'm trying to do is do like day in my life videos where I'm like talking and sharing and going over like what I do in Dallas. I've also been sharing like my favorite like date night spots or things like that. Less aesthetic videos, more like informative. And I'll probably do the same thing for DC. So if you're here from DC, leave a comment below and tell me where I should go so I can start building my little to-do list in Washington, DC. I also kind of feel sick. I talked about in this week's podcast episode or I guess last week, so if you're watching this right now, about my like stomach issues that I've been having, go listen to that one. It's episode 32 with my friend Kenzie. But in the intro there, I shared a lot about like what's going on with my stomach and some problems I'm having just <laughs> with my health and how I'm trying to get it back on track. Um, so like after every meal, I'm literally just like out like on the couch. So I might as well get some work done while I'm sitting here in pain. 
But all that to say, come follow me on or on TikTok, and then come follow me or subscribe to the podcast. I'm the worst influencer. <laughs>
And this is just kind of what I do to revive my skin when I'm feeling like dry or if I've been like not feeling well or if I'm hungover or something. Now that we're cleansed, I'm gonna do my vitamin C mask. I've been doing this Alginist face mask for a while now. Looks like this. Okay, so it says dark spot correcting peel, blue algae vitamin C mask. My friend Kellyanne, who's a makeup artist, has posted about this so much and her skin looks so good all the time. So I started using it. Joe just ordered us some fried chicken. My favorite. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. All right, the vitamin C mask has worked its magic. So I'm actually trying a new serum out. This is also from that same Lumiere brand. Uh, I'm too lazy to take the rest of this packaging off, so it's just gonna have to happen that way. This is the Super Soother Niacinamide Serum. It says apply three to five drops of freshly cleansed to freshly cleanse and dry face. I'm gonna let that soak in. Let's go have some chicken. There he is. Look how gorgeous with my biscuit or my roll, I guess, fries and my little cup of mashed potatoes. Okay guys, chicken taste test. Um, can we talk about this? This is the cutest little cup of mashed potatoes. Fun fact about me, mashed potatoes are my favorite food. I wanna jump, like when I see this, I wanna jump in them and swim around. So, when all that mask was on, I was making my little revolve list, and I already put this on my story, so if you heard me say this, sorry. Um, I've made a revolve list for like every purpose, like vacation wear, my wish list, under $100 stuff that I really like, and I like spend time on these lists, like, what, et cetera? <laughs> Um, I spend a lot of time on these lists. I'm not like putting random shit in a list. Like I really feel like I'm dressing like people who follow me and like I want to make y'all impressed. <laughs> so I really only have these lists full of stuff. I'd either for sure buy it, I already own it, or like I'm about to buy it. <laughs> so that's what all those lists are and I will link them all down below. Ooh, that's a juicy chicken tender. Mm. All right, so I'm using another new product. This is the hydration vaccine from NIOD. I think this is also the ordinary, the same company that owns it or something. Apply a small amount all over face, AM and PM. Ooh, this feels really nice. This kind of feels like a primer. It's like a little bit jelly, but it feels super hydrating. Soak in right now. Okay, guys, she's pretty moisturized. I was gonna add more moisturizer on my face, but I'm just gonna skip the extra moisturizer because this did leave definitely like a very like moisturized feel on my face. I don't think I need anything else currently. Um, so we'll see how this works for me because I never tried that before, that little hydration vaccine. So I ordered some stuff on Sephora, like I said earlier. And I just did like the same day delivery. They luckily had these two products that I wanted to try. Um, I have the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I just bought this at Sephora and then I ended up using it and it was the wrong color. Like it was so bad. Um, so hopefully this is my right color. And then I also got their foundation stick. I'm gonna start with concealer. I'm gonna use this hourglass little foundation brush to conceal or to blend this in. I like this concealer color so much better than the other one I just had. Wow, I really like this concealer. All right, so now we need to figure out if this is my color. Why am I so bad at color matching? I have no idea. I've also never used a foundation stick before. Is that what you do? You just kind of do this. I also need to figure out what I'm wearing tonight. I have no idea what to wear. 
but I'm excited. My little sister, I think my little sister's husband like also loves skating right now because he was playing baseball for a while and so he kind of shied away from doing like a lot of active sports just so he doesn't get like hurt or whatever. Like Joe is not gonna skate today. Um, he can pull me around the rink. <laughs> but anyways, now I think that my mom was telling me he like adopted a newfound love for or I guess skating. My mom has some skates. I don't know if they're her same ones that she's always had, but I think she might have some like nice like roller skates from the 80s, like some mm -hmm. real 80s girls vibes. I'm gonna just finish off with doing a little bit of blending. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys this because I'm gonna vlog it next week. Um, I'm going to New York. Actually, by the time you're listening to this or watching this, I will be in New York. And I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. But like last time, so we were in New York for my birthday, which was December 30th, and then we stayed for New Year's. And we were shopping and we walked into this watch store and I've been looking for a very specific watch for years. And there were cheaper options in different colors, and but I had a very specific idea of the way that I wanted this watch configured. I went on the website, um, it's a Rolex. I went on the Rolex website and built this watch like three or four times, and, like took photos and like screenshotted it, and I have had it like just in mind for such a long time. Anyways, I watched and walked into this watch store, and there's a wait list for this particular watch um, literally everywhere, and everyone told me it's gonna be a year long. Uh, so I just considered like, I didn't know really when to pull the trigger on putting myself on the wait list. But anyways, uh, I was talking to this guy about this specific watch and he was like, oh, you mean this watch? And pulls up a photo of it. And he like already had it all made and it was like the exact watch. Anyways, he was like, yeah, we actually just had this one lady on the wish list or on the um, wait list. He showed me like a photo of the wait list. He was like, she just moved um, off the wait list because she said she didn't want to wait longer because they, they don't know a lot of the time like when these watches are coming in and she'd been waiting for six months on this wait list already. And they were projecting another more, another six months for um, the wait. Why can't I talk right now? <laughs> My brain is everywhere. Okay, so long story short, I put myself on the wait list and I was able to take her spot. And basically I just put like 20% down on the watch and they do like a financing program too. The, it's called Watches of Switzerland. Um, they're a store right in Soho. It's actually like a big store. They have a lot of different brands of watches. Uh, and they do like a financing option. So you can pay it off in four years with no interest, which I was like, that's sick. I'd probably rather do that than just like spend all my money at once. Um, but anyways, he called me last week, my like watch guy, and said that they got the watch in the fucking store. He said originally he thinks it might come in in June and it ended up coming in early i'm so excited um he also told me he thought prices were going to raise like rolex was going to raise their prices i don't know if they've done that yet but he told me on the phone so far they haven't so i'm just going to go and buy this watch and hopefully <laughs> prices don't rise before i get there this weekend but i'm going to vlog it all and y'all by the time you're seeing this you probably already know that i'm in new york but i'm going to share so much more about it i'm so excited it's one of those things like that I've wanted for such a long time. And when I say it's one of those things I've wanted for such a long time, I mean, it's literally the only thing I've wanted for such a long time. Like, it's just, it's something I've wanted to buy myself truly forever and I never really thought that I'd be able to because um, it's just fucking expensive. But in the spirit of downsizing my closet and just getting really specific about what I want and getting older and getting better with money, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, by the way, I just, did the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. And I need to hurry up because I need to leave soon. All right, I'm taking this Milk Makeup little bronzer stick. I just put this package in from Refi. They sent over like a ton of products. I'm gonna go with this uh, bronzer first. This is the Revi bronzer and I'm gonna use the brush that they sent over. I love this brush so much and all of their packaging is kind of like, I don't know, it just really works together. I feel like it's very efficient. I'm not trying to go ham on my makeup right now. I kind of wish I would have started a little earlier. Maybe I could have done some kind of like fun 80s vibes. But... All right, and then I'm gonna use the other side of the brush for the blush 
And then I'm just gonna do some powder products real fast for blush and bronzer. All right, so now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do like a little bit of this soft brown on my lids. Now I'm gonna take this Refi brow like pencil. I don't really do a lot of brow stuff. I honestly just need to get my brows done like so bad. So I feel like I just avoid them because I'm so upset with them. <laughs> Why are my brows so wild? Look at them. And I got, I, I purchased a Blast from the Past makeup product. Let me go get it because I think it's in my... Ooh. Okay. I went to CVS and got the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I have not been curling my lashes lately because I'm honestly way too lazy. I don't know why that like gives me anxiety. Not because I like think that it doesn't like hurt or anything. Um, I don't know why though, that stuff, I'm just like, it just seems so unnecessary. But I mean, I understand the value of it. I'm not saying it's absolutely not necessary, but for a normal natural makeup look, I kind of like to be minimal on the mascara. I really like this mascara. I forgot how much I like this and why it's a classic. I think I'm definitely a drugstore mascara kind of girl. Anyways, let's do one last little piece here. I'm gonna take this eyebrow pencil and just do some like mini faux freckles here. Lovely. All right, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and get some clothes on. I'm not gonna do lips until we're in the car just because like I don't need to be doing that right now. I am really happy with the products that I got. They're so pretty. All right, this outfit is questionable, but this is what I'm wearing. My baggy jeans, and then uh, I've got this plain uh, bodysuit on. Absolutely love this bodysuit. And then this, uh, this is from Free People, by the way. Uh, and then I have my little coat on. I actually wore this last night, so it smells a little bit like a cocktail, but we're gonna make do. This is from Aster, A-S-T-R, the label. They have it in uh, on their website uh, in a large, I got a medium. They have that in stock and I love this coat. I think it's so cute. And then I've got my little jumbo bag and I'm gonna put on these earrings in the car. We're gonna go, we're super late. so fun I have not been roller skating in such a long time my mother is like still a boss at roller skating she definitely was like that bitch at the rink when she was younger I think my dad used to roller skate a lot too oddly enough I was telling Joe this like when I was young I remember spending like a significant amount of time at the roller skating rink anyways we went over to my parents house after the fact and um, I honestly forgot to record anything. We just had some food and it was like a really quick little thing. Because it's Sunday, Joe and I are gonna watch 1883 
Uh, we have been waiting all week. We literally like wait by the TV ready for it to come on every single Sunday. We're very excited. So we're gonna go ahead and watch that. So I'm gonna stop the video here. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I know it was kind of a chattier vlog than normal, um, but I just, I had a good time filming this one. Joe, say bye to the vlog. It's time for 1883, so. Yeah, it's time for 1883. Uh -oh. Be nice. That was my sign off. Say be nice, or be nice. Be nice, everyone. No. <laughs> Have a good weekend, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> it's time for me to go. <laughs> See y'all next week